5.45 by 39 mm 7 and 6 has a reputation for being particularly deadly due to yaw. Let's take a look at performance in clear ballistic gel to gauge how early the yaw occurs and whether the reputation is really deserved. Okay, so this is fairly typical performance for 7N6. The neck is roughly 6 inches long. Temporary stretch cavity is about 3 inches by 2 inches, being generous. The penetration exceeds 16 inches. It yaws quite a bit and comes out the side of the block here. You can see a fair amount of blackening inside of this block where the gel dieseled as the temporary stretch cavity collapsed. But otherwise, it's fairly mediocre performance. Okay, so here's the raw data. As you can see, the neck length is pretty long and the temporary stretch cavity on the high speed as well as the tearing from TSC indicated in the gel are both rather modest. It's not that 7N6 is ineffective, but with a neck length this long, the volume of tissue disrupted by yaw is likely to be relatively small. When compared with other non-fragmenting FMJ from intermediate rifle cartridges, this performance is respectable, but compared to fragmenting projectiles like M193, this pales in comparison, and some other non-fragmenting FMJ can yaw earlier and cause a larger temporary stretch cavity. I hope you enjoyed this format. Let me know what you think.